I got some bad news for everyone that thinks the housing market is going to crash. I'm going to tell you what I've seen that's changing my outlook on the real estate marketplace. And also I promise at the end, I'm going to tell you why the real estate market could still crash worse than 2008. Hey everyone, it's Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group. And I was just in the team meeting looking at our numbers. See our website, nickmcleanrealestate.com gets tens of thousands of visitors every single month looking for homes. And so last year it was about 50,000 visitors a month, right? 50,000 people in town, out of town, Seattle, Bellevue, Redmond would come to our website searching for homes. Now interest rates went from 3% to 7% and that 50,000 people per month, visitors per month, that dropped to like in the 20s, the low 20s. That's a huge drop, which made me think, oh wow, that huge drop, the marketplace is gonna crash. It's gonna crash, it's not gonna be good. It really, it, I really thought it wasn't gonna be good. And then winter time came around, the holidays came around and sales were down in half. Like it, I predicted it, sales were cut in half. But for some reason, prices has, hadn't dropped. And I've been waiting for prices to drop because but they haven't because inventory is still really low, right? Inventory is still low. That hasn't like ballooned, making prices go down. And then I looked at my real estate numbers, my, my website numbers, and our web traffic went from 30,000 and jumped 23% in January, a 23% jump in January. So is this a sign that the marketplace won't crash? Buyer demand is coming back? I mean, we're almost back to 50,000 and it's only January. I predicted it in the last video that there's still an opportunity to sell your home while, while listings are low, but listings could increase, right? So is this a sign that we're just gonna kind of a soft landing and then how home prices are just gonna steadily go up? I don't know, I don't know. But the market could still really crash. And so I promised you, I'd tell you why the, what would happen if the market really crashed. Well, here's what's gonna happen. January, this is just a blip, right? Lots of demand, these buyers, pent up demand, first time home buyers are gonna buy properties. Inventory is gonna drop. And then come April, May, and June, everybody and their brother, including all of the builders, are gonna, it's gonna be a tidal wave of new inventory. Everyone's gonna put their home on the market. We're gonna go from 200 homes on the market to 1,000 homes on the market. And the only way you can sell it is by dropping your price and dropping your price and dropping your price. And so it becomes like this downward effect that it's going to result in a 20% reduction in home values throughout Wenatchee. That's quite possible, but it's not going to happen for, I can tell you this right now, it's not going to happen in February. It's not going to happen in March. It might start happening in April. So right now you have this opportunity, this window of opportunity where prices haven't gone down and demand's increasing to sell your home and find another one before prices plummet. Now, prices may not, right? Maybe it's just exaggerations. I don't know. But if you want to find out what your home's worth in today's marketplace, I'd be happy to do it. It's a free consultation, no obligation to list whatsoever. If your home's in Chelan, Leavenworth, Quincy, Ephrata, Moses Lake, we have agents and experts throughout. Go to our website, nickmcclainrealestate.com, check it out. You can go to the home valuation link and get an instant, instant computer valuation online that tells you what your home's worth in today's market. Or we can come over to your house, tell you what it would take to put it on the marketplace before, let's say, April or May when it could be too late. And I'm not trying to, there's no scare tactics here. I'm just giving you like scenarios in which it gets really bad. But the scenario right now, it's actually getting better. So hope to hear from you guys soon.